Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're out in the suburbs of Detroit, and I met Kevin King, and Kevin's got a survivor for you that, well, it's a big fish, you're gonna to wanna to see this one. Kevin, what year make and model is this one? We've got a 1965 American Motors Marlin. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. Now, how did this one, first of all, come on back with me, how long have you had this one? This one I've had since 2004. So it's uh, going on 20 years now almost. Yes. Definitely a member of the family. So how did you get this big fish on the line with no miles on it? We, I found it on, uh, it was for sale uh, on eBay. And uh, I went and actually looked at it because the car was a local car. Yeah, come on over. And uh, we, uh, I looked at it and everything was original on it. Wow. The exhaust. The, the hubcaps were never off, and it was in the his next door neighbor didn't know his the car was in his garage for as many years. I bought this from the original owner, and uh, we, we, I had to I had to have it. it was well, a, it was such a perfect car. Yeah, you got the big fish on the line, so to speak. Absolutely. Wow! Yes. Wow! And look at you know they have a great emblem for this car. Yep. That is a good emblem. You've got the M up front for the Marlin, the doors, we're not gonna open it just yet. What I do wanna do though is I wanna feature, does that locking gas cap come with it? Yes. Wow. Yes. And you can see it has the V8. So we're gonna turn this car around for you because I don't wanna miss the great view, plus we've got the sun hitting it. But right now, just kind of curious, they have those two, was that supposed to be another mirror? That, uh, that was this mirror's mounting originally. And I backed it up. So oh, got because it. Because of the got obstructed it. Yeah. view. You like to see once in a while. I, yeah. Exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm a mirror driver. Who would have thought? All right, let's open it up, shall we? Sure. I see it's got the uh, AMO Owners Association there. Yeah. So we have the 327 here? Yes. Yep. Beautiful. Four barrel carburetor. Now, the interesting thing with the 65 is the front end of the car is the Rambler, which is why. You have that there, and this, well, is the Survivor. So yep. this is how you, how they came. Yeah, you got the original uh, battery connectors. Good, oh, uh, I'm gonna take my time. The original battery connectors. Alternators. The great thing about this car, and we'll take it for a ride, this is a time capsule. Yeah. Wow. What's the uh, what's the reaction when you're driving this car? Do people oh. even understand what it is, or they're, oh, they, is that the first question? What is it? They, they yell at they yelled out the door, the the windows that uh, you know it's either it's either it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, or what is it? There you go. Those are the <laughs> so, three questions. Yeah. Let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. says front so you know that even though that porthole is there it's correctly done in the back and notice it's got this flat piece here as well wow Kevin, stay right there for a minute. I'm going to have sure. you step on the brakes. Is that smooth or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my see, goodness. Did it take you a while to get the engine that smooth, or was it this smooth right out of the it's box? Right out of the box. It's Unbelievable. Really so as we walk back, Kevin, let's take a look at those brakes. Beautiful. Okay. Single exhaust, right? Yes. Okay. Let me listen to it idle. Go ahead, give it a rev. <laughs> Not bad for the 327, that'll get us moving. And I think we'll turn it around. So I told you that we'd share the back of the car and that's some great haunches right there. So as we get a little closer, well you can see the word Rambler because well the front end was really a Rambler. And this great 
logo right there. Now, was that the factory speakers? Uh, yep. Yeah, that's uh, put there, but there aren't no any speakers in it. Got it. All right. Nice. But it's that's a, a heck of a, a window to try to clean. Let me just show this angle right here for a second. That's one of my favorite angles of that car, so I'll just let you take that in. Oh, that's great. Let's open the trunk, shall we? Now, it's got kind of a unique trunk to it, as you'll see, because it goes way back in there. And then it kind of goes sideways. So you have to kind of stuff stuff in that little port <laughs> and make sure that that works. There's the bottom of that logo. All right, we'll close that. May I open the door? Thank you. And as we open it, we opened it this way so you'll notice that tag right there with all the information. We have the door here. And you can see the dash. I'm just going to pull this this way just one time. There we go. That didn't work as well as I'd like it to, but we'll get that straighter when we get in it. We'll show you the bucket seats. Kevin, show them what these seats do. Yeah. You recline. See, if you pull that up, they go like so, kind of ratchet backwards. Yep. And look at the back of this. Notice too, it's got this great kind of turned metal look to it. And as I sit in here, obviously not leaning against the back, you have power steering with the Rambler. You can't see that, but that's 17,000, maybe if I get it over there. So just under 18,000 original miles. <laughs> Fasten your seat belts for this 327 Marlin. We'll show you your features here and here. What's that extra pedal here? Or what is this? Just that, a footrest? Uh, that is the uh, window squirter. Oh, really? Yeah. Step on that and it squirts your window? Yes. Nice. So it's a, a manual yes. power window. Yeah, that the red bag you saw in the, uh, the engine compartment. So step on that. That great logo there. So let me just pull back. You have your glove box there. And as you can see from here, let's... Uh, Oh, we've given them the whole piece. I just want to show this too. You've got Rambler there. I think the only thing left, we need to take them for a ride. All right. Let's go. Let's do that. So Kevin and I are off in the 1965 Marlin with under 18,000 original miles on it. How did it feel when you finally knew you were the owner? Oh, it was great. I was, uh, <laughs> I was looking for one of these for a long time. And I finally found it. It was close to home. I could see it. Oh my gosh! It, uh, we weren't taking a, taking a guess on the pictures. From somebody that uh, doctored them or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, so uh, so now you saw it. Now yeah, what happened? Now yeah. you were like, uh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I I, uh, had, I discussed it with my wife. And yeah. She uh, she agreed. It was a great car. Oh, okay. And. Uh, What's your wife's name? June. June. Shout out yeah. to June. Great job, June. Yeah. Beep, beep that horn for a second, too. There we go. Give it a little more. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's the reaction when you're driving this? What do people say? They uh, they say it's what year is it? They'll ask you that, or, or what is it? Uh, that type of thing. And they think it's a charger. It, exactly. And, uh, let me show people where we're driving. Go ahead. So we take, uh, we correct them at that point. Uh, this car was out in 65. The Charger was in 66. There you go. And, uh, so this is before that. Yes. But uh, it does have similar lines. This is more of a motel design. Yeah. And the Charger is more of a street fastback. Got it. So, well, how does it feel, you know, I mean, it's only original once, right? 
Exactly. So, so when you're getting the chance to, to get something like this, I mean, uh, was there any difficult parts or anything that needed to be done when you got it that was... Well, not other than maintenance items, uh, brakes and tires, yeah. those types of things, and those are, those are readily available. And it ran as smooth as this when you started it? Yes. Wow. Yeah, it ran really nice. There was no, uh, no engine issues. The exhaust was the original ceramic uh, uh, coated exhaust from the... Uh, change that out because it was it was pitted yeah a lot of small holes but it was amazing that it was still on there <laughs> yeah. literally yeah. we're taking a ride back in 1965 exactly and we get the chance to get in the marlin yep. well, i'm going to show people a little bit we're in an intersection here oh, i guess i could show you that notice in michigan you got a flashing red light up there in Illinois, they give you a left-hand turn signal. Yeah, yeah. So when I first saw that here, I'm like, I'm stopping. I'm already stopped. The guy behind me was beeping. I had to figure that out. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, I get it. Yeah, if it's flashing, I can go. Yeah. If it's the traffic's clear. And here we go. I'm just really surprised how smooth this engine is. I mean, this really is about as smooth as it goes. Yeah, real nice. Give people just a little bit of what it looks like here in the suburbs of Detroit. Nice town. Nice town. Well, we're gonna keep cruising just a bit. Kevin, real treat to meet you. I love yeah, the fact yeah. that this is a survivor. You don't get to find this kind of thing too often. So you know what, Kevin? Yeah. You landed the big fish. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Thanks for being in my car story. Oh, you're welcome. Had a good time. Thank you.